Crystal Wick here with Our Beats Cafe and my partner in crime, Cynthia. Hi, Hi, Cynthia. Hi, Crystal. It looks like you have some inspirational <laughs> beauty to share with our viewers today. I do. I do. Mm. I really love this necklace. And I thought, Who doesn't? Hey. Oh my gosh, tell us all about it. Well, it's a lot of sparkle, <gasps> as you can see. First. So beautiful. Yes, and the technique is very mm -hmm. simple. It's a technique that's been around for a long time. And then you just embellish it. It's a rivoli that you do a peyote bezel around it. So it's just a basic peyote bezel. It's a peyote basic. stitched bezel. Yes. And then you embellish it differently. Yes. And I oh, embellish I with crystal, but some people will mm. embellish with some cities, mm -hmm. with some... I mean, I oh. saw all kind of different design. So I think it's, it's really fun. Uh, I have to say I started to do this technique a long time ago. And then I couldn't get it. I got so frustrated. Really? Yes. And I'm like, why can I get it when everybody else do? <laughs> yeah. so, if you left to help. There you go. I'll get it. Why can't I? Oh. So I went back to it and I realized two things. First is the beads that you use. Mm -hmm. So here I use the Miyuki Delicas. They are perfect uh, for doing the bezel. Mm -hmm. Perfect, perfect. And then the other thing is the tension. Tension, oh, tension, no. tension. Tight tension, right? I'm very tight. So when I look at some sample and, and in the instruction that we say, you use that many beads to do the first round, I realized that it never fit because oh, I was way too, too tight. tight. Yes. Interesting, because usually in peyote stitch, you're, they're always saying tight, tight, tight. But right. with this, you need a little give to fit around that. Yeah, oh, really? so, yeah, so oh. you have to play with it and oh. don't don't be discouraged. It's Let's actually it pretty easy, yes. And we oh. do have a handy tip, step by step oh, great. on our learning center to show how to, to make this. So it's very, very easy. And I would assume that it would work differently depending on the little tiny seed beads have different shapes. So depending yes. on the shape, because some are rounded and some are more cylind exactly. like a cylinder. And so I would think that would be exactly. kind of trial and mm -hmm. error. And Yes. It out. Yes, and and we have also a chart mm -hmm. that say how many beads you need to uh, for the size of the rivoli. Oh, that's great! Is all that in the learning center yes, on our website? It is, and like I say, if it doesn't work, take a bit out or maybe add a bead. Oh. So don't be discouraged. It's just about your tension. It's oh, just about great. how you. And well, what do you call this beauty? I don't think we even said what what her name is. It's Blooming Stars. Blooming Stars. Because when I, I, I did those, I thought, like, it's so sparkly. So like, pretty. pretty. Well, it looks fabulous like this. Of course, we'd wear it to work. <laughs> Who wouldn't? But yeah. you could just make one or two, couldn't yes, you, for earrings exactly. or for mm -hmm. a little bracelet or something? Yes. So it looks like a great technique to just pick up. And mm -hmm. and I saw some design also where people do a ring with it. Oh, can you imagine? that be cute? A yes, big I ring actually like can. That? Yes. And on these, um, a lot of time people would connect them with some more seed beads, but I decided to do something different. So I created those little, call that loopy links. Loopy links. Yes, <laughs> really cute. And I do have also a mini video on the site to show how to make those. It's super mm -hmm. fast, super easy to do. Great. And here, as you can see, I have different colors of wire because mm -hmm. I choose one of wire blend. Excellent. I, I love our wire those blends. because I don't have to buy so many different colors, so many different spool. Right. Everything is in the tube and I was able to make those uh, links together. Oh, Cynthia, that's beautiful. Yes. Thank you. Oh, I just love it. Thank you. And I thought then just to make it softer, then I added the ribbon. Mm -hmm. And what I love in the ribbons is you can then adjust the size. You can make it long, you can make it shorter. That's what I always love about ribbons or chain. Like if you add chain on the top too, mm -hmm. you can adjust the size with every thing yes. that you wear because that's always a problem. Exactly, mm -hmm. yes. And I want yeah, to show, show you finished that also. Look at I, how cute. Aww. I always like to finish my ribbons with a little bit. So you just make a knot and just slide a little space around there. And then then it looks complete and exactly. intentional, right? <laughs> the sign exactly. of a true professional. <laughs> Oh, I it love has to it. be finished. <laughs> it's gorgeous. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks Thank you. for sharing. You're welcome. Okay, Cynthia, it's time for one of my favorite parts, Crystal Wicks picks. I get to pick out all my favorite things and share them with you guys. Okay, so we have fabulous 
designer wire and designer wire blends right. that I have been having a ball <laughs> with. Oh my gosh. I've been using them to make a lot of components, especially for earrings right. and for links, for bracelets and necklaces. Okay. And we have these really cute little forms here that are a breeze to use. Look, they come yeah. in all these different shapes. You can make earrings, you can make toggles. Right. And when you're using our designer wire or our wire blends, mm -hmm. they're perfect for that. You just take out a piece of wire, right. make an earring, take out another piece of wire, make an earring. It's like so easy. Really? That fast? That fast and they come in different colors. Okay. So you don't have to buy a million spools to achieve the same color yes. palette. But then sometimes you want to have lots of the color, which mm -hmm. I used here with the spools. So some of the things I made, oh my goodness, maybe my favorite thing um, in many, many months, I'll say, <laughs> is the queen, the new Swarovski queen pendant. Oh my gosh. The right. shape is so beautiful. It's kind of gorgeous. Yes. Got to say. Right. And that color. So I had a ball with the wire blends. Mm -hmm. And I on these guys, I used one of our wire blends and I made little teeny tiny spirals and hung the spirals from the earrings and from this beautiful necklace. And I used one of our designer wire, sorry, designer... Yeah. Seed bead blends. <laughs> I get them all mixed up because I use them all together. Designer seed bead blends, and this guy here isn't this so gorgeous? It is. That's it's a really pretty one, and I thought I would just tie in all the colors, and then again just made a little, a little did, dangle right there. Okay. And I also made the little bail to hang. Did you? So it's did very you? easy. I just okay. used I just used pliers. Just used pliers, and of course I used the wire and so mm -hmm. I did the same thing with this fun little piece here. You know, I love yeah, the snowflakes. Swarovski snowflakes are fabulous. Yes. But I wanted it to be wintry, not pretty blue. Like I you always put blue with snowflakes because yeah. I think of ice and snow and everything, but I wanted it a little more urban and edgy. Mm -hmm. So I used again our designer wire blend series. I used winter for that one. And then I also used one of our seed bead blends and added a few little beads there. So as I you see. can see I did some dangles on the bottom here. Mm -hmm. And I love that you used the patina. Uh-huh. It's, it's really fun. I would have used the two together. Right, because it adds a little element of antiquity. I right. think it just looks a little more urban and a little old. And can we show the back? I love sure, how you yeah, did to the turn. back also. Because like remember, your wire. snowflakes are curved on the back. So I just did a little bend mm -hmm. on the back so then it curves around the snowflake and doesn't interfere with the actual dangle of the snowflake. Right. So it's very simple. That's a very simple project, easy to do. And again, you need one tube of wire, yes, a tube of our seed bead true. blend, and um, a few little crystals, and you've got that going on. And they'd make great pendants as well. That's true, yes. Yeah. That's a good idea. Love it. And did you make those earrings with the, yes, the form? Yes, with so? these. Okay. All these forms are so great. Oh my goodness, you just crank them out over right. and over and over again. They're very fast. Mm -hmm. And what I like about them as well, consistent. Oh, everything see. you make, all your ear wires, everything, even your toggles and your the chandelier earrings, they right. all look exactly the same because you've made it on the same form. That's true. So easy. Yes. It's really easy. So you just sit down and make a whole bunch. I did the same thing um, here with okay. this piece. So now I used one of our designer seed bead blends, Northern Lights, which I love. Again, it's the blues. You guys, I can't help it. They're just my favorite color. I try to use other color palettes, and I just go, Ooh. I know, it's always blue. And then I also used um, some of our designer seed, our designer wire blend mm -hmm. for the links on the top, and I added right. Swarovski pearls. Right. And pulled that whole thing together. Yeah. And I'm so surprised of the size of the pearl. I think they work really well together with the They're size big. of the tubular. Yes. Well, you know, a lot of people don't know, like this little tubular mm -hmm. herringbone, and we do have lovely videos that show you, Leslie Rogalski shows you how to make these on our website. Yes. They, we're used to making smaller ones, you know, sure. much with much smaller beads to make the tubular herringbone. I wanted to see what it would look like to use the really big beads. Yes. And it's so striking, isn't it? Because yeah, Chucky is. is very in right yes. now. And of course, that whips up so fast compared to that. I was wondering. Just saying. <laughs> I'm sure you did that really. so fast. And then, of course, on the top, I always add. I did it on this one too. I always add chain mm -hmm. or a ribbon, like you do a lot of times, right. so that you can um, adjust the the length of the necklace to fit your whatever you're wearing. Oh, that yes. Yeah. And so again, it adds another element at the back there. Mm -hmm. And um, we used. Um, bead caps, really nice, easy bead caps just to cap off those tubular herringbone. Because yes. any of our seed bead blends are gorgeous already to just 
stitch up tubular herringbone or tubular yeah, peyote, peyote, and then just cap it off, and you've got a beautiful necklace as you can see. And then see. you just glue. That's all you do. Glue in the end caps, and you're good to go. Yes. So there we go. Some fun wire. Beautiful. Thanks. Okay, Cynthia, one of our viewers writes in and asks us, what do you use multi-sized looping pliers for? Yes. I thought, she's the expert, she'll let you know. <laughs> and that's a great question. Yes. Mm -hmm. This is like a magic tool. Really? <laughs> Looks kind of wandish, like a magic wand, maybe. There is so much you can do with it. So I put some samples here, and then you can go on the website. We have a handy tip that shows also different things you can do with it. Oh, great. But the first thing you can do is your own jump ring. Oh, goodness. And love look at those. the different sizes <sighs> that, that you can make. And I love... I love the, the being able to make my own jump ring. Yeah, the versatility. The you can make anything if you can make your own size jump rings, really. Yes. Mm, yes. That's and good. you see that I have different colors it's I because I use that. our designer blend. Oh, we also. love our designer wire yes. blends, we don't they? Well, it's really fun to make a piece with every single color in the tube. I've yes. done that as a challenge, <laughs> and it turns out pretty nice, I gotta say. Yeah, Look at this. very easy. Very great. And then, um, of course, this is the loopy link that I created for my necklace that I nice. showed earlier. And um, I use the multi-size plier. Okay. So very easy. And I have a, a mini videos to show how to use those. Great. And air wire. Look you at those. Can make those very simple I didn't know that. Wires. Really? Yes. Oh, Again, great. it looks hard. It is not. You just need that tool and that's it. You need the tool and wire and you're good to go. Yes. That's and on great. this one, I even added a little Swarovski on the top. Uh, nice. So just go on our website and look at the learning center and we have a step-by-step -step how That's to use wonderful. the tool. wonderful. Very fun. Thanks for sharing, Cynthia. You're welcome. Thank you for joining us on Arpeats Cafe where we had all things loopy loop, <laughs> wire, and blingy today as usual. <laughs> Don't forget to sign up for our newsletter and our YouTube channel. Don't want to miss a single episode. And as always, happy